or good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this morning I'm going to try and do something completely different. I'm going to walk around the edge of the beach. There's a lot of rocks and I'm going to try some ICM. So join me and let's see where this journey takes us this morning. Okay, so the last time I went out for ICM, I was with Rona. And what Rona taught me was use an ND filter. <coughs> so what I've got is I've got my polarizer on this morning and I've put on an ND9 because it's really, really bright with the sun. And then what I've done is from a, a settings point of view, what I'm going to do is start off with half a second, F15 and ISO, 50 because it's still very very bright I don't want to put a 10 stop on because that'll be really really dark and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to do shots where I do a kind of left to right pan and then I'll start experimenting with twists so if I just take a shot here and I'll just pan and sweep so that what we're getting is streaks and those images, they're actually quite nice. So what I'll do is I've taken three images there. I'll try that effect here where I am. It's not very nice because of the... So there's, a, there's another thing I'm noticing. So if I, when I'm panning and I twist, my horizon squint. So I've got a feeling we have to stay level all the way. And when we stay level, we'll get a straight horizon. So at the moment, all these shots are straight lines. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to use the rocks and I'll do some shakes and we'll see how that works. And then I'll share these three or four images with you that I've taken just now. All right, so I've come to the edge. <clears throat> There's a little burn that flows here into the sea. So what I was going to do is stand here at the foot of this burn and just see if I can get a kind of ICM picture where we've got water at the bottom. We've got that layer of rocks as a kind of next layer. The sea is the next layer. And then we've got the Isle of Rum and the Isle of Skye. That's the Isle of Skye over there. Um, and I'll give that a try, and let's see what happens. All right, so, as I'm standing here, I've got some nice water. So I'm just going to try a left to right pan. I'm being conscious that I'm trying to keep the horizon straight. And let's see what happens. So, I'm at a wide focal range. Let me zoom in and see what difference that makes. Not very much. Well, that's nice. Right, so I've found a wee sweet spot here. So if I'm using a 24 to 70 lens. If I just go to 35 mil and then do a pan, that's actually quite nice. And again, I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to do some kind of hand movements, like a shake. And some of them look quite nice. It's quite a, this is definitely an acquired taste. Um, it's not to everyone's liking, but I needed to try something different. And you just never know, there might be one or two photos that come out of this this morning that could be quite nice. So what I'll do is I'll keep taking two or three more shots here, and then I'll share those images that I captured with you just now. All 
right, so what, I'm, what I've been experimenting with here is a zoom. So I've been doing left to right pans, I've been shaking the camera, but there's a little bit of water here splashing on the rocks. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a zoom, a zoom twist of the lens. So the lens is at 24, and as I turn the lens, I'm zooming back and zooming forward. And I'm actually getting, it's like a water splash effect. And it's actually quite nice. Let me just try that again. Oh, wow. It's like a starburst that I'm getting. And let me just check. And if I do a shake, I'm getting some weird effect and textures. But as I'm talking, what I'll do is I'll share some of these images with you. I'm going to zoom in to this water and just see what type of effect. So I'm getting a lot of squiggles, but that'll just be the shakiness in my hand. And I'll just do some circles. Oh, that's weird. And it's just trying to, that's quite nice. That's like a hex. So the thing is, I don't think there's any right or wrong. It's all about movements that you make with the camera and the slow shutter speeds whether it's left to right, up or down, zooming in and out, a shake or a twist or a circle, I think it's what that, the result of the image looks like and whether you like that or not. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn around and move to the front of those water, that wee tiny waterfall. But it's not even a waterfall, it's just a dribble of water going through rocks. And uh, we'll see what other effects we can get from it. And if they turn out, I'll share those images with you now. Alright, so I found this log on the beach, so I'm going to try and do some ICM movements around the log and just see how that works. So I'm going to have it lengthwise, I'll zoom out, I'll zoom in, I'll do some sweeps, I'll do some turns, I'm just continually changing my f-stop because it's because I'm facing into the sun, it's getting really, really bright. But when I'm facing away, I'm having to adjust my f-stop back. There's a post there, so I might try that. But yeah, let me take a couple of shots of this log, and if any of those turn out, I'll share that with you. I have to admit, this is something that is definitely an acquired taste. I'm used to looking for sharp images, and this is really arty very arty and very creative so yeah we'll keep going and let's see if we can i can improve my skills as i'm doing it i can look at and try and find if i can find a technique that makes a nice photo so what we'll do is i'll stop rabbiting on and then i'll share these images with you now All right, so I've just come down to the water's edge just now. And what I'm going to try and do is see if I can get any kind of textures for these waves as the waves are coming in against these rocks. So, and the thing is, the other thing I'm learning, you don't have to shake the camera too violently there you go, there's the water coming up. Let's see if we can get some. I'm going to see if we can do a sweep. Try a sweep. And it's having this foam in front of me. I'm trying to keep my arms straight <coughs> as I sweep past the horizon. As the water comes in, I'm just going to do a small shake of the hands and the camera. And now what I'm going to try is a zoom. So I've set this to 70mm, as the waves come in, hits the stones, I'm going to zoom out. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, so if I zoom in on a wave, and then as it turns, 
pull it back. Oh, that's too much. Let me try that again. We'll wait for a wave. Pull back. Here's a big wave coming. Right, so if I can catch the big wave as it turns and zoom. There we go. That could be quite nice. Right, I'll share some of these images with you now. So I've moved over here beside these rocks. I'm just watching I don't get too wet with the waves. But what I've noticed here is some seaweed. And what I'm trying to do is zoom in to the seaweed, see if we can just to give us a different color and a different texture. Whoa, right. A wee bit too close, so I'll have to move back. I'll take a quick shot before the next waves come. Oh, here it comes. Whoa, that's quite strong, but that may be quite cool if I'm standing up here. Right, so I'm just increasing my exposure. Whoa, thank goodness I've got my wellies on. I think a wee bit of water went down my wellies there. Yeah, this is quite strong. Whoa. Well, that's quite nice. So if I pull back as well, I can get quite a nice effect. If I pull back, that's a big wave. Oh, wow. So all the splashes of the wave are actually quite nice on the rocks. And I'll, <coughs> when I'm pulling back, I'm getting quite a nice effect. All right, cool. So, let's keep moving on. I need to figure out how to get back without falling. Whoops, because it's quite slippy. Right, so, I'll share any of those images that turned out with you now. Right, so I've decided it's safer for me to walk along the edge of the fence here <coughs> beside the field because those rocks are really, really difficult to walk on. So I'm just walking around because there's a headland way up in the distance and that headland could be more interesting than what I've been doing here at the side of the beach with these rocks. So I'll keep walking and I'll catch up to you when I get round to the headland. All right, so as I've been walking closer and closer to the headland, <coughs> I stopped and used the sheep as subjects in the field here. But what I also tried to do is go wide so that I could get the blue sky in as well, so that when I was doing a panning shot, I was getting a streaky blue at the top. And I also done it in portrait I'm not sure how they've turned out to be honest, so we can, there might be one or two that's worth sharing, so I can share them with you um, just now. But I'll keep walking, I'm getting closer and closer to the headland, and uh, hopefully those images have turned out, I'll share them with you now, and we'll catch up further along the, the shoreline. Well, unfortunately, the wind blew over my tripod and uh, smashed the microphone and the extension bar that Sam made me snapped in half. So what I'll do is I'm going to keep going 
I'll head to the the headland point. I'll climb up there and see what kind of viewpoints we get. As I go along, I'll take some images and then I'll share those images with you from the areas that I stop at. And hopefully we can get this video finished. share the view. That's uh, Shell, Singing Sands, where we were the other day. Absolutely beautiful. And there's Lake Bay. Again, stunning. And then one of those mountains, I can't make it out just yet because of the shade, the shadow in the rocks. There's a rock formation with a single point, and that's called the Finger of God. So, I'll make my way over to this tree and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. so we're getting higher and higher there's that little peak so if we walk up to this little peak and let's see the view oh boy oh wow oh wow this is stunning there we go so it's just a sheer drop right down to the edge in the water there all right so i think i'll end the video here um, and i have the majestic rum behind me absolutely beautiful and so clear so here's hoping i can make something out of this apologies for uh, the microphone breaking hopefully it hasn't um, made too much impact on the sound but uh, ICM's an interesting topic. Uh, Rona has some amazing images and there's me trying it today again. It's really, really hard. I, I think you have to practice and practice and practice and um, work on your techniques, whether you're shaking slightly, whether you're pulling the zoom backwards and forwards to give you that zoom effect, when you're looking at the colour scheme behind the camera and your, your subject, see if you can get colours similar, that could be quite nice. Moving the camera around, so there's a lot of movements you can do to try and get an effect. And the other thing you notice is you can't get the same thing the next time. So they're all, all your images are completely different. So anyway, here's hoping we can make a video out of this. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do because you know it's free. And if you press the bell notification, that'll let you know the next time I post a video. So thanks very much for watching and here's to the next video.